Oh, listen, it's uh, it's been a big build-up, obviously, with the bus, but uh, look, we're just looking forward to another another challenge, you know, another game away, and uh, our interstate record this year has been great, so we're looking forward to uh, getting a win on the board on uh, Saturday night. Did you, have to, sorry, did you have to change your, your weekly processes at all because of that? No, listen, generally Monday is a recovery day anyway, so the players just recovered on the bus and, and our week went about it in, in its normal way. You know, we were, we were pretty lucky. We had two two to three stops along the way and our guys did some recovery along the way, so it was fine. What's the yeah. lead of the guys like, though? You've had a couple of away trips and by and lots of play in Melbourne. Sometimes it's better like a win as well. Look, the one thing about our group, and, and Chris Newman's a real leader in this, is that... Uh, the enthusiasm of our group can, can never be questioned. You know, look, we've had a couple of narrow losses in the last couple of weeks, but we, we feel we're just a, you know, a smidgen away from turning that around. And you know, our guys are really well driven. They're enthusiastic and they're, and they're ready to play. Looking forward to a great challenge Saturday night. Do you treat it as a real crunch game, though? I guess I mean, you had some momentum going for a while. Yeah, the funny thing about AFL is that every game you've really is a crunch game. You know, we look forward to the, the challenge of Brisbane. They're a side that look they were disappointing last week by their own, own measures against um, against Sydney. But uh, sorry, was it last week? I don't know. Got confused. But um, we're, we're just looking forward to another good game and, and hopefully get our game up and going a lot earlier. We played in some some conditions that have probably been a little bit slippery, and uh, this week will be no different. The Gabba Jews up pretty well, so we're looking forward to that challenge. Yeah, I think so. I think the, the great thing about footy clubs is they're, they're a fantastic environment to be around and our guys are a generally young group and they travel well together, they enjoy each other's company. So, look, it's a real great team building exercise and, and one that we hope will prove fruitful in uh, the years to come. And Look, it's the, the one thing I will say is our guys, every time they go away, they, they now look to, to win every game. Like I think last year, I don't think I could honestly say the same, but now we go in every game expecting to win, which is a which is a real credit to our guys, and I think that that travel journey certainly helps. What about the, uh, some of the teams around you, obviously, have, have winnable games this weekend as well? You know, not a game you can a cop to go up there and, and have a team below you on the ladder? Yeah, listen, they're probably the games we, we expect to win. Uh, obviously, from a from a talent point of view, we're, we're both very young sides, young developing sides, but uh, we're encouraged by our performances over probably the last month. You know, that we think we're quite capable of winning the game. So we've just got to get a, a number of things right. We've, we've worked on some things over the course of this week and hopefully they come out on, uh, on Saturday night for us. John Brown was really well held uh, last week for three quarters until Jamison got subbed off. I think he kicked two or three quick goals in three or four minutes. You just get, do you just get the feeling that if Brisbane uh, are going to play well, really push you guys that he's going to have to have a big one? Yeah, there's no doubt. Look, the impact of Jonathan Brown has been one of the best players to play in the last decade and look, we've got a number of uh, plans in place to, to try and quell his influence but uh, look, the, the great thing about champion players is, is when the game's there to be won, they'll lift and we've got no doubt he'll be up and going and look, we'll uh, look, obviously Rance and McGuan and, and those type of players will get a fair crack at him but uh, it's going to be a team defence on Jonathan, there's no doubt about that. How do you think your defence has held up for that? Yeah, we've had a lot of injuries. I think key defenders are, uh, are falling like flies at the moment. But um, look, I think the, the development of Alex Rance has been very, very good. Look, Luke McGuan comes back into the side this week and, uh, and Jaden Post will get an opportunity to play down there at some stage also. So the great thing about it, uh, the disappointing thing losing players, but the great thing is we actually get someone to have an opportunity to show how they can play. Yeah, look, he's probably a guy that's taken a little bit of time to get where he needs to go. Um, look, he's he's worked on a number of things over the course of the year at, at Coburg at seconds level, and uh, we, we think he deserves his opportunity. He's been relatively consistent in his performance, and uh, we look forward to a, a good game from him, and hopefully it's the start of a, a long and fruitful career with us. Did you have him sort of earmarked as a defender? Look, he's probably one of those guys, a bit like David Asprey, a bit of a swingman that can go back and forward, so he's going to be one of those guys with a new substitute rule, I, I think in effect can go back and forward and play a little bit of ruck also so he's actually uh, his rating in our books has probably gone up somewhat he just had to work on a few areas of his game that, that, uh, that he has over the last month at Coburg. Oh look I think over the, the course of the year our pace has been very very good and the way we move the ball has, has actually been really good also so uh, look it's something that, that we feel when we, we get up and going we do very very well we've been inconsistent in patches so we hope to iron out those inconsistencies the course of the year goes on and, and that's a measure of good side you know we, we don't want the ups and downs we just want to be relatively consistent week in week out. Black and Power really made to be accountable last week there were no defensive games sort of played to them you guys have got a very young and strong mid for you uh, is that what you'd be looking to do? Yeah, look, obviously Black, I think Black nearly had 40 touches versus last time Dan Jackson was out suspended, so he'll obviously come back and hopefully do a job thereabouts on him. And, and Luke Powell kicked three or four goals last time, so both guys got under our guard last time and we'll be making sure that doesn't happen again. 
Yeah, look, it was only uh, it was only six weeks ago, I think, which is the, normally the draw. But uh, look, we learned a lot of things that game. Some uh, look, we look at it obviously in great detail. Some things that Brisbane did that actually hurt us. That we, we were unhappy with our boys that we didn't respond quick enough. And uh, we'll look to that and hopefully look to rectify it this week. How's the group feeling in general halfway through the season? Injuries, uh, you know, looking at pushing finals. How's the, the feeling around the club just in general? Look, it's it's good. Look, you look at our our record. What are we four? Four a draw and, and six losses. So, uh, look, obviously we, we go in every game expecting a win, and, and, and this week no different. But uh, look, our, our guys are up and about, and they're playing some reasonable footy. We've been a little bit down the last couple of weeks, so we're hoping you know can get over that and come away with the points come Saturday night.